Nota Gavriel, this safer is is about 350 pages of Hitler's Hanukkah. Wow. So when you want to get into, when you want to thank the, <laughs> the Greeks for starting up with Eden, yeah. <laughs> and giving us how hard, I mean, how hard could it be to light a candle and say Hallel? Well, 350, 350 pages. Telling you how hard it could be. Right. So anyway, <laughs> Nota Gavriel is alive. He lives in, in uh, Brooklyn. Written on everything. Written on everything. Um, the saver. Written posthumously, collected, called Leket Rashimus. Huh. Nelson Boxvogel, today is his yard site. Wow. He was in Meshkiach in Lakewood under a going Varen Cutler. Say it's out of his yard site is also today. Wow. Yeah. And he has, um, they put together a Hanukkah in various different yonim. So if you want to get a Shkafa component to Hanukkah, it's a good. Yeah. Safer. So is there a way to know whether safer is written for the layman or for the scholar? Like, there's some commentaries about Rambam when he wrote the Mishnah Torah that he wrote it for the layman instead of for the scholar. But not anymore. Um. Maybe the 350 pages for the advanced Talmud Chacham. Correct, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't, I've got, for a guy who's, you know, just want to figure out what in the world's Hanukkah, I'm not going to give him the safer, right? I'm not going to give him Mishnah Brewer. You're not going to give him Mr. Brewer. I give him this one. English, right? Give him Kitzah Shulchan Aruch, give him Shari Alacha. Know your, know your audience. Okay. It's so beautiful that they wrote all these books about Hanukkah. Mm-hmm, You're amazing. Now, page 277. Where do we put our menorah? Near Hanukkah, Al Pesach. Put it on the door of Samach Lishush Rabbim. Put it on the door that's next to the public thoroughfare. Those of you who have ever known to stroll for Hanukkah, you know that they light outside on the door. Right, Avi? You were there? Yeah. I light outside on the door. Many years. You know, by Suach Lishush Rabbim. If the house is open to Lishush Rabbim, Manich Al Pesach, you put it on the door. Vim Yesh Chotzer, or if you have a courtyard, near Bias. Pesach, then you would leave it on the gateway, the door to your courtyard. What if you live upstairs? Then you leave it in the window that is Samach L'Shush Rabbim. Okay? So you guys will all in due time, whenever you embark on your next residence after Rosh Hashanah, you will have a nice Shaila. Where do we light? And if you live in, depending on where you live, right, if you live in Victoria Gardens, or you live wherever you may be, you have to assess, do I have access to Shus Rabin? Do I not have access to Shus Rabin? Gardens? Story Gardens is a, where <coughs> most, where, where, where many, a, a newly where married Muncie couple comes to live. When my wife and I came to get our marriage license, they said, and where on Edison Court will you be living? Because <laughs> that's where everyone, that's where Victoria Gardens is. Anyway. Where I, so is, should this be a factor in, in buying a home? No. The factor in buying a home is location, location, location. Live amongst Yidden. Live amongst people who enrich your Yiddishkeit. Wow. Okay? You want neighbors that you want to be inspired to be more like them. And you want to choose a rabbi who's going to give you Musser and make you a better man. Mm. Okay? Mm. Victor Miller said when a person moves to a new community, he should ask which Rav is going to give me the most Musser. In the world, you won't hear that from many people in the world, but that's what I'm telling you. If you're serious about getting better, wow. then you're serious about getting better. Now, I mean, it's, it's partially that way. If a guy wants to improve his golf swing, he's not going to just hire the guys. Go, oh, great swing. Great, great. You got to get it. Come on. You know, keep that wrist straight. You know, let's go look at that video. Look, you're, you're wobbling all over. You look like Jim Furyk. You know what Jim Furyk is? He's got a lousy no. swing. Okay. He made a zillions, but he's got a lousy swing. Now, in the meantime, so if you live in a Lee, let's say you have an apartment in Manhattan, um, which I would not advise, but in the event that you do, then... Um, what about the religious... Uh Communities are there? In Manhattan? Yeah, sure, there are, but I don't know because have, it's, it has have, a lot of buildings. It's not good. <laughs> separate we'll, discussion. We'll, yeah, separate discussion. Now, um, but in answer to Yoni's question, it's not going to be a factor where I um, where I choose to live, but you will be because there'll always be a solution. I mean, oh, if you have not. access, you have access to Rob, or you do it by the door, whatever it happens to be, you always have a solution. Okay. Says the. Machaber Vaiter, very important. Mishas Zakona, the, the author of the Shulchan Aruch. Mishas Zakona, if it's dangerous, Shein Reshari Lakayim Mitzvah, Micha Al Shulchan Vadaya. You leave it on your table, and that suffices. Okay, so there's a period of time where if you lit candles outside, you were going to have a problem. Anti Semites would be knocking on your door, or they would steal your menorah, right? So therefore, the minig became to light inside. So nowadays, we have a little bit of a hybrid of both. I mean, nowadays, the chief Pursume Nisa is uh, really inside the house, meaning with our family. 
But where it's Shaykh, we light in a way that the passers-by will also have, see the light. See the, I don't mean, you know, I should see the light, I mean. Well, every, every mitzvah that we, that's done in the house is pursuing Nisa within the home. This is clearly a different differentiation that they want you to express it other, express it to the public. I will, I will take pursuing it. Pursuing Nisa every Friday night dinner. That's not a dinner pursuing Nisa. Within the home? What, na- what nace? What nace are you celebrating? That shop has created the, that Hashem created the world in seven days. I don't know if that's a, it's a Pursume Nisa. Pursume Nisa thing. I'm saying if, if you're going to argue that Pursume Nisa in this case is only done within the home, then why doesn't it use the term Pursume Nisa for any other mitzvah inside the that's home? That's what I'm telling you, that Pursume Nisa is a, a, a term which is has halakhic ramifications that is reserved for certain mitzvahs, i.e., let's say, Kriyas and Megillah, and these type of things. And not every not every th- not everything that I do, you know, when I, I, I hang mezuzah on my door or I put on tefillin, is Pursume Nisa. Correct? Maybe a Zechitz, he used to I wonder, speaking of um, Pursume Nisa, today, the second day of Kislev, Hitler, Yomach Shemot, was expelled from Casablanca. So they have a Purim de Casablanca. Hmm. And someone wrote a, uh, the Gil is Hitler. Hmm. It says it has a whole, cursed is him and cursed is Mussolini and cursed is, it's interesting. So does uh, the Jewish people accept that? There is a concept that in Halakha that if one is privy to a nace at such, such a magnitude that they should celebrate a Purim. There are a lot of other Purims in, that, that your local communities will celebrate. Isn't Al-Cheers. it the opposite of a nace? Well, the opposite of a Because they were saved in, uh, in, the, what's it, in, in uh, Purim, but in, uh, the with Hitler they weren't saved. They were, you know, six million died. Yeah, six million died and then he was beaten, not by you know, nace. What's the basis I'm saying for creating a Purim? This town, this town was was spared, right? Whatever the right, the specific town, correct. So they're going to party as their fellow Jewish Jews blood is spilled. It's a very good question. Why, like, sorry, no, no. I, the the wars that we won in right. Israel, mm-hmm. we could Muhammad of I mean, these are these are supernatural meets and gloom. The numbers don't add up. I mean, there are certain there are certain groups. Why that, not? That do say halal on Yom Hatzmaut. Yeah, but that's not a whole holiday. I understand. Words. So it's, it's 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 something which a community takes on, you know. There's whatever. There's histories around 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 other time. You'll see. They'll tell you a lot of the, the various different Purims that different communities took on. At what time? Now Purim time. They'll okay. tell you historically what other. Uh, um, Hilchas Purim. You'll find such a halacha. Okay, we'll go through it. Now, um, it's right near Acher. In response to this question. What? What? The wind is. is no. Part of the shear. Sarak near Akher, you need another light, the Shamish the Oiro. You need another candle to utilize the light. Meaning what? That's our Shamish. The Nair, Hanukkah is also to benefit from. So even on the first day, you need, really need two candles. Correct. 